update 0.4.8 just released and I'm going through all the new features for you. They finally added the logbook to the game. Remember this useless box? Head only to the other thing that does nothing if you feel like paying respects. If we insert the master battery, we can open this box and get the logbook. We can open the logbook with L. It shows the current time and how many days we played. Note that the clock in the top left corner disappeared. So far there only seem to be two locations, the crash ship and the mechanic station. If we click on set waypoint, it will create a waypoint for the mechanic station. So no more guessing where the mechanic station is. The beacon has been added to the game, which can be crafted from 5 metal 2, 1 radio and 10 circuit boards. Placing a beacon will create a waypoint of which we can change the icon and color. These make navigating the world of Scrap Mechanic a lot easier. If we open the logbook and click on beacons, we can see the distance to each beacon and we can turn beacons off. There's also a new desert biome which can be incredibly hard to find. It features oil pools which seem to work like water. Um, it's a bit dark down there. There's nothing but darkness at the bottom. We can use a vacuum pump to pump unlimited oil out of this oil pond. This is a real game changer as it basically allows us to make cheap and unlimited fuel. Which makes flying machines and boats affordable. As Axelot said on Twitter, the new desert biome is backwards compatible so you don't have to start a new world. They also added 6 new t-shirts. The Walk Love t-shirt, the Logical t-shirt, a Pizza Burger t-shirt, and a Pizza Burger has 1851 calories by the way, a Carrot Pattern t-shirt, a Corn Pattern t-shirt, and a Gas t-shirt. All new t-shirts can be unlocked from common garment boxes. Then there are a few smaller changes worth knowing. Grass will now be removed if we place blocks near it. More survival parts are now in creative. All creative parts are now available in challenge mode as well. Corn is now finally breakable. Glow sticks now emit more light when held. Haybots and toadbots can destroy parts of all durabilities now. But high durability blocks still last very long. Corrector collisions won't trigger explosives anymore. If it's too dark at night for you, there's a new brightness slider in the display options. There have been various UI improvements. If all crops are destroyed during a raid, bots will now attack random parts. There are also some smaller changes which you can read all about in the changelog. There also have been some hints about the next chapter of survival. There will be a quest system. Also the description of the spaceship hints that we can one day restore the spaceship. Axelot also announced two upcoming updates. The first one being an update to creative mode which will add water and a few other surprises. After that they will release a challenge mode update which adds 10 new challenges and if you complete all 50 challenges you will get a special gift. Subscribe if you like Scrap Mechanic as much as I do. There's also a big top 10 survival mods video coming soon so stay tuned. Maybe you'll enjoy some of my other videos in the meantime.